Hello guys, I'm Ali Mul Karim, uh, the instructor for this course, and these lectures are being recorded uh, in the memory of Dr. Abdul Hoxer. I have been taught by him. So in previous lecture, we have seen how uh, true false works or how it could be done. So here I'm going to broaden the uh, first lecture or go in more details with the first lecture. So uh, if there is a switch, a switch can be described like this. So this could be a switch, switch, and it should be on because it's really connected. So a switch could be look like this, which is switch off. So these are actually represents the true and this one represents the false or this one represents one or this one represents zero. So that's the primary idea. And next, uh, we're going to see some scenarios. So this is lecture two. Uh, now we're going to see some scenarios. So let's say I have circuit like this. And here is a ball. So, I'm not a good artist. So, here's a ball. So, here is the electricity is going to flow. So, if it is A and B, two switches. So, A and B, two switches. So, what could be the possible combination? So, so if you if you have seen the first lecture, so you know if one of them is actually true then the bulb is going to be on because electricity is going to be flow whatever direction it finds very easy to go. That's the idea. So uh, how to write those things? So as I said, that zero means false and one means true or switch on, switch off. That's simple. Uh, and we have discussed that how we can get on and off based on the fivefold combination. So. So how can you do that? So are you going to write like this, zero, zero, or one, zero? The possible combination for this, because there are two. So one, zero, uh, zero, zero, one, one, something like that, zero, zero. This four combination can be possible. But how are you going to put it there? Are you, are you going to put it like this, or put it something like this? So the idea is uh, you should always uh, put it in binary form. So that first one is zero, the next one is one, the next one is two, three, something like that. But uh, calculate every time binary is not that easy. So uh, the easiest way to do it is start from first one. So the first variable that you put should always be uh, changed every time. So if it is zero, start with all is zero. So if it is zero, the next one will be one. And there could be four possibilities because there are two, two variables. So every time you have variables, so the possibility should be two to the power of the variables. So since you have two variables, so two to the power two, four possibilities you are going to have. So you can just write like this. So your uh, second variable should repeat after two times with the same thing. So what I mean by that is uh, the second variable should repeat after two times repeating the same thing. So it should be zero, zero, same thing to twice, and then one, one. And then if there is another variable, then it should flip after that. But it, it should be consistent with its two times. So if you now look at it in binary, binary, it would look like this, zero, one, two, three. So it's in sequential order, it's in this order, you don't have to look into this, but after this course when you continue, uh, you'll just know how to do it because it would be so much easier. So what would happen if both of those are actually switch off? So when it's switch off, ultimate result, result or bulb, if you say bulb, uh, should be off. So if any one of those is true, then the bulb should be on. So if any one of those is true again, so if A is true, bulb would be still on. Um, 
So no, so um, you have to complete the circuit actually to make the bulb on. Sorry for my mistake. So you have to complete the circuit to make the bulb on. So it will only uh, be open or true if both of those are on in this portion. So others are will, going to be false. So let me give you a simple scenario. So uh, a complicated scenario. Let's go to page two. So let's say we have things like this. That we have this, this, and then this. Life always get complicated. So, and this time we have bulb in here. So let's assume that this is the bulb. Okay, so let's me let me mark those A, B, C like this. So we're passing the electricity from here. So again, so we have three variables. So our possible combination. If you write A, B, C in this order, so first one always invert after one thing. So here's two. So two to the power three is going to be eight. So we will have possible eight combination. So you could actually repeat this eight times. This and this one should always repeat after doing the same thing. So this and then this. So this one should repeat after doing the same thing four times. So this, this. So if you just now calculate this binary, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is another way to get quick binaries. So if you just write 8421, because binaries works like this, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. So if it is between these possible combination, let's say I want to get, let's say 5. So if I want to get 5, so 8 is going to be 0 because we don't need A. So 4 and 1, if we add those up, it's going to be 5. So we're going to get the 5. So this is the quickest way to get it, but there are other ways uh, which everyone uses is divided by 2. So if you have 1 way, divided by 2. Uh, if you have a large number, then it's easier. If you have a small number, then it, this is one is easier. However, uh, this one will be very easier when you actually do the circuit. So ultimate result or the ball for this case. So if you look at this one, so if actually C is open, it's going to be always open. So there is no concern about that. So if C is open, it's going to be open. So I'm going to put those C's as open. If C is open, it's open. But other things we have to check. If A and B both are open, then it's open. So uh, A and B, so A and B both are open, this case, only this one. And others if, no, not going to happen because if B is false, then it's not going to go there, so others will be false. That would be the ultimate result. So this is how you can actually uh, understand that how it works. So there are two homeworks, so I'm going to write this homework here. So homework one is uh, try to show the truth table. So these are actually known as the truth table. I'm not that organized as our faculty. <laughs> so this is truth table. These are known as truth table when you have poss all possible combination and the results. Uh, truth table. So uh, first one, you have to find the figure of the truth table. Of the low circuit. So the idea is like this. You have voltage here. So we have voltage sources there. So voltage source and then between this one and four and then we have a bulb. This is a homework one and then we have homework two. HW two. So two is a very hard one. So um, 
you have to figure out the circuit based on the truth table. Figure out the circuit based on truth table. That's the idea. So circuit's idea is something like this. The two variables. So again, it's uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. That's the idea. And your likelihood results are going to be 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is a hard one. Try to figure out how to do it. And if you have problems, email me. That's it. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, please make a blog post. Uh, we would really appreciate it because that's the only appreciation that we're going to get from you guys. Give a thumbs up, share it, that's it. If you don't like the video, of course, dislike it with a comment so that we understand what you don't like and we can make it better. And the video is sponsored by Developers Organism. So if you like us, go to the Facebook page and give a thumbs up. That's it. Stay tuned.